Before we get started, I want to address some, some misconceptions in response to the last video. These are not boomer methods. These are cool. These math methods that I'm talking about are cool. And they come from two places, TikTok and or the street. I just want to address that issue here. Okay, so today we're going to talk about special right triangles. Now there's two types of special right triangles. They're on the board behind me. The first one is called 45, 45, 90. Let me write that down. Four, five, four, five, ninety. Well, why is it called that? Because those are the measures of the angles. You have 45 degrees, you have 45 degrees, then you have a right angle right here. Now the side ratios of this triangle are one to one to square root of two. The second type special right triangle is called 30, 60, 90. Now why is it called that? Because those are the angle measures. You have 30, 60, 90. Okay? 30, 60, 90. And what are the side length ratios? Well, they're one to square root of three to two. Now, if you have any other triangle, any other special right triangle, meaning 45, 45, 90, or 30, 60, 90, it might not have these exact side lengths, but its lengths will be in the same ratio. Are you confused? Let me show you. All right, suppose we're given this triangle here. It's a 45, 45, 90, and we're given only one of the lengths of the sides. We're only given this side is five. Well, how do we find the other sides? How do we find X? How do we find Y? Well, this triangle is not exactly the same as this triangle here, because this length is five and this is one, but they're similar. Similar, what does that mean? It means they have the same angles in the case of a triangle. So angle, angle, angle matches angle, angle, angle. As we know from elementary geometry, you got two triangles and they're similar. The corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay. So what does that mean? It means this side to this side is the same as this side to this side. This side to this side is this side to this side. This to that is this to that. Got it? So the corresponding sides are in proportion. So let's set up a proportion, let's solve it, and then we'll get our answer. Let's do x first. It comes first in the alphabet. So how do I find x? Well, this to that is this to that. Pretty simple. x to 5. Every time you say 2, you draw a fraction bar. So x to 5 equals, every time you say is, that's equal sign, 1 to 1. Okay, how do we solve for x? Well, we got two fractions on opposite sides of the equal sign. It's easy. You cross multiply. Okay. So x times 1, which is just x, equals 5 times 1. Everybody knows that. 5. Okay. This was kind of easy. You might have already known how to do it. It's kind of obvious, 45, 45, the opposite sides have to be the same. Maybe you already knew it was five. But did you know about y? How do we find y? Same thing, corresponding sides are in proportion. So this to this is this to this. Okay, let's set it up. This to this, so y to 5, equals this to this. Square root of 2 to 1. Got it? Well, what do we do now? Same thing we did right over here. 
cross multiply. That's correct. Y times one, that's Y. Five times square root of two, that's just five root of two. Nothing more you can do. Okay, so this answers our question, but we know we always gotta check. And how can we check? Well, let's say that this is five and this is five root two, because that's what we found. Okay, so the first thing that you could check is that the longest sides should be opposite the longest angles. Okay, in other words, these are the small angles of this triangle, 45 and 45, because they're both smaller than 90, which is the square thing right here. So they should be opposite the smaller sides. And you see, they are, right? Five and five, those are the smaller sides. They're smaller than five root two. If you don't believe me, plug in five times square root of two in your calculator. Okay. What's the other thing we can check? The other thing we can check is called the Pythagorean theorem. I think you already know it. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where A, B, and C are the sides of a right triangle, and C is the hypotenuse, the long side. So can we check that? Well, yeah, let's check it. So these are the short side, this is the hypotenuse. So we can check it, well, let's check it over here. If I add up the squares of these two short sides, I should get the square of the long side. Okay, is that true? Well, what's five squared? Five times five, 25, you got it. What's five squared? Just answered it, 25. Uh-oh, this one's confusing. What do we do here? Well, we should know that exponents distribute over multiplication. So on the inside here, this is really five times square root of two, and that whole thing is being raised to another power of two. So we just distribute that power over that multiplication. And when we distribute it, what we get is 5 squared times root 2 squared. Okay, 5 squared, we all know is 25. We just did it like 100 times. What about square root of 2 squared? Hmm. Well, those are inverse functions. Put it on your shoe, take it off. Take it off, put it on. So if you square root something and you square it, you get it back. So you get a two. So it's 25 plus 25 equal to 25 times two? Well, you betcha. 50 equals 50. That's pretty nifty. And what does this accomplish? Well, this is one check we can do. It doesn't mean that we're necessarily 100% right. But at least it uh, tells us we're not 100% wrong either.